So Brian Gutekinds comes in in back-to-back second-round draft picks, adds another weapon to this Packers offense in Jaden Reed, wide receiver for Michigan State, just after a few picks earlier, drafting 6'6 tight end with crazy speed, 4.6140 speed, Luke Musgrave. He comes in and adds a very quick, very fast Michigan State receiver in Jaden Reed. So I know lots of us were, you know, hoping that we would get that receiver in round one. It would be exciting, you know, to get a, a, a first-round wide receiver. But I think this makes up for it. Getting two legit receiving threats for this Packers offense to pair with Christian Watson and Romeo Dobbs. Uh, I really love this move in the second round to load up on two different weapons. And when we look at Jaden Reed, honestly, I didn't do too much digging into him before this draft process. He wasn't a guy who was, you know, really on my radar too much. So in the past 15 to 25 minutes, I spent time watching some of his highlights, reading through some scouting reports. And if you turn on his highlights, you see how incredibly fast he is. He has crazy speed. Um, he can break away. I mean, he he seems like a very exciting player. And so when we look at Jaden Reed, he is 5'11", 187 pounds. So slightly smaller than the kind of receivers Green Bay typically drafts. Um, I mean, not he's not crazy small, 5'11", 187. So he's not super tiny, but a little smaller than guys like Christian Watson, 6'4", Romeo Dobbs, 6'2". Um, he doesn't have a crazy RAS score, which is, you know, relative athletic score, but Jaden Reed seems to be a speed guy who I think the Packers can really utilize in the slot. He played a lot outside in college, but I think when you add this guy who has 4.45 speed to an offense with Christian Watson, who can play outside 6'4", crazy speed, 4.36 speed, he has that height. You have Romeo Dobbs on the other side who, you know, pretty fast, uh, 4. I can't remember his exact 40, 4.5, 4.6, 40. And then we have now Luke Musgrave in the middle of the field, 6.6. And so I think it's fine to have a guy like this who may be slightly smaller than typical for the Packers, but because you already have a 6.4 Christian Watson, a 6.6 Luke Musgrave, and a 6.2, I think, Romeo Dobbs, the Packers can add a guy who has this speed and this breakaway ability. Let me read Dane Brugler's scouting report from his from the Athletic, his draft guide. And, and this will I think this will excite you a little bit. And just watching his highlights got me pumped. I got fired up watching his highlights. Um, I, I really like this move, even though I barely knew anything about him before the past 30 minutes, but I'm, I'm loving it for Green Bay. So here's what he has to say. A three-year starter at Michigan State, Reed was a perimeter receiver and offensive coordinator Jay Johnson's offense, although his senior year fell short of expectations because of injuries and the Spartans' offensive struggles. He accounted for 46 explosive plays, of, which are 20-plus yards over the past two seasons. Let me stop there for a second. 46 explosive plays in the past two years, which are plays over 20 yards. And I think when you look at this Packers offense, you add Christian Watson with his game-breaking speed. He can break it at any any moment. I think that did open up the Packers offense near the end of last year. Now you add Jaden Reed, who also has a similar you know deep speed ability. When you have two of those guys in the same offense playing there who have that breakaway speed, now we have Luke Musgrave in the middle at 6'6", Romeo Dobbs. I mean, this is, this is looking nice. The Packers receiving room looks much different than it did just what, one hour ago, which is crazy. So I'm, I'm liking this a lot. Now let's continue. And became just the third player in school history with multiple punt return touchdowns in the same season. So he can return punts. Keyshawn Nixon, we already have him, but sort of shows his abilities. Reed has outstanding foot quickness and skillfully throttles his route speed to separate from coverage. Despite dropping too many easy ones, his focus is heightened on contested windows, and he shows a knack for timing his leaps and snatching the football off the helmets of defensive backs. Overall, Reed will have a tougher time overcoming his slight size versus NFL defensive backs, but his speed, route tempo, and downfield downfield ball skills are the ingredients of a potential NFL playmaker. With a few technical tweaks to his game, he has NFL starting ability, slot and outside, and adds value as a return man. So he can do it inside, he can do it outside. Um, You know, he I read somewhere I don't know if I just read it that he can block well as well, which is great. Matt Lafleur loves that uh, blocking wide receiver. Um, But I think to get, you know, as I already mentioned, to be able to play him, I think, in the slot with Dobbs and Watson outside, to be able to have a guy who has that foot quickness, that crazy speed, 4.45 speed, great route runner, can really separate. To have him there in the middle of the field, I mean, I think this could really change the way the Packers offense operates. And honestly, thinking right now, you know, we have Jordan Love here. I do wonder what it would have been like if we had all these guys with Aaron Rodgers on the team as well. It would be pretty crazy. But I have hope in Jordan Love. I believe he's going to be great. Um, I think that, you know, Brian Gutekinds clearly shows that he's coming in. He's adding these weapons for Jordan Love. I know lots of us wanted it round one, but I think Brian Gutekinds is probably sitting there saying, like, guys, be patient. You don't know what I'm about to cook up in round two. And now that round two is done for the Packers, unless they trade up into round two, the draft is right now. Hopefully I'm not not missing anything important. Um, 
But now we have this receiver room. We got Christian Watson. We got Romeo Dobbs. We got Jaden Reed, who I'm excited about. I'm going to do more digging, and I'll come out with more videos on him in the future. So subscribe so you don't miss those. Um, but from what I have, my, my, my uh, quick research, I'm fired up about this pick in just the way that it sort of combines with the other players already on this Packers roster to add this speed to a now receiver room, tight end room that has some height, some size for the red zone. Christian Watson, 6'4". Luke Musgrave, 6'6". Now we have a guy who can... Really, it seems like he can break away at any moment. As he mentioned, he returned punts. He also returned kicks. We could use him on kickoff returns. And I think to have a guy with that, you know, breakaway speed, that breakaway ability that can happen at any moment. Also, imagine him, maybe some quick screens. He could break one quick if he gets gets in the open field. I really like this draft pick. As you can tell, I'm pretty fired up right now with the Packers' second round. I love it. These weren't guys that I, you know, one guy wanted was Darnell Washington tight end. Um, we didn't get him, but honestly, you know, just because of his blocking ability, he's six seven, insane, huge size. But I like Luke Musgrave, looking into him as well. Um, and so, I love this. I love this for these uh, these picks in the second round. Um, feel free to comment your comments down below and subscribe so you don't miss the rest of the Packers picks. I'll break it down on this channel. And if you haven't subscribed to my newsletter, I break things down more in depth as well over there, which you can subscribe to in the description down below. But thank you so much for watching. I'm fired up for the Packers today. It's a great day for Jordan Love. It's a great day for this Packers team. And uh, I'm excited to see what these guys can do coming into 2023. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.